Sure. Formulation of risk questions is really critical to doing a good and effective risk assessment because if you formulate the risk questions appropriately, it allows you to target an action, a practical outcome for the risk assessment. So for example, a good risk question, a targeted risk question would be, what is the likelihood and impact of a healthcare worker becoming infected with H7N9 influenza virus in China in the next four weeks? Such a risk question, if you evaluate the likelihood and impact of that situation, would allow you potentially to target surveillance to health workers or to not target surveillance to health workers or to target communications to hospitals to have them be more alert to potentially infected healthcare workers. So it really allows you to, to either put emphasis on that question or to not worry so much about that question. And if you have a variety of risk questions that cover the scope of your public health system or your human animal interface system, it can allow you really to target your communications and management um, after the, the risk assessment based on the estimates. So what we like to see in a risk question, one, it's targeted to some outcome, that it includes both likelihood and impact. We always want to do an estimation of likelihood as well as an estimation of impact and to associate an uncertainty with those estimates. The risk question should also specify the population affected. So we're we talking about healthcare workers, we're we talking about live animal market workers, we're we talking about households who have poultry, for example. We want to specify the thing that happens healthcare workers are infected with. We want to specify the hazard, and we don't usually put in two hazards, so it's going to be influenza H7N9, or it's going to be rabies virus, or it's going to be Rift Valley fever. It's not going to be a mix of hazards. It's going to be a t there's going to be a time frame, so within the next four weeks, or during this outbreak, or ever, or tomorrow and it's going to have a location, so in the area where the outbreak is occurring, in areas where the outbreak is not occurring, in a neighboring country, in a distant country, but it allows us really to target our messages and our management.